Hello all, welcome to episode 4 of Interpret, a podcast series based on academic papers uh, brought to you by Center for Analytical Finance at ISB. I am Prasanna, I teach finance at ISB. With me we have Aditya Murli Dharan uh, from Center for Analytical Finance. He practically is the CEO of CAF uh, and producer of this series. Uh, now I promised you I will have a PhD student mm. uh, but it's 10.30 uh, at night so PhD students <laughs> left so the producer himself <laughs> had to come in. This happens in a startup setup, I hope you all understand. So, all of you have given us feedback saying that uh, we have to talk about India oriented paper, some, something, something to do with India. So, fortunately, uh, at the same time a paper of mine got accepted in management science, a uh, well reputed journal uh, in management. This paper is about Aishman Bharat. The title of the paper is How Does Health Insurance Program Covering 500 Million Poor Impact Credit Market Outcomes? Mm -hmm. So, Aishman Bharat is the largest uh, health insurance right. program as you know, anything in India is largest. Uh, now, we are most uh, populous country also. So, uh, the idea is to check, uh, you know, uh, and analyze how does it impact loan performance? That's the question, right? Okay. So, uh, we all know, you know, uh, no, not many people may know about Aishman Bharat. Aishman right. Bharat is a publicly funded health insurance program right. where uh, eligible families get a health insurance cover of 5 lakh rupees right. without paying any premium. Right. And this is at a family level, household level cover. For, so, there is a socio-economic census that is done. And based on some specific criteria, criteria of asset holding, income, etc., etc., uh, around 40% of the population, which is right. 10 crore families, yes. are eligible for the program. Yes. They get health insurance. Right. So this is not just in uh, government hospitals. Yeah. There, there are empanel private hospitals. There also they they, they get treated. Yes. Right. Yes. So you've been looking at data. Yeah. Uh, you said you were telling me how many uh, uh, such treatments have happened and all that. Can you throw some light on yeah. what's happened, uh, sure. what's been the progress and when sure. did it start and so on? So, the program started in 2018 and in the last six years it has covered close to 6.5 crore hospital admissions. That's the total number of hospital admissions that okay. it has had in the last six years. And the government Population has, of many countries. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it has spent, in the last six years, it, the, the government has spent over 81,000 crores into this scheme. Okay. So, and particularly last year, if we look into it. I was about a, to say GDP of some neighboring country, but I'm but, holding back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as of, as of last year, it has spent uh, 22,000 crores. Uh, and the hospital admissions, even last year, were ballpark 1.5 crores. Okay. And again, catering to our 10.5. 3 odd crore so 1.5 crore hospital admissions, admissions and total yes. spending of 22000 crores yes this is this yes. is the whole thing so approximately 15000 per family uh, per 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 hospital admission. per, per hospitalization okay. per hospitalization sure sure right. sure right. right okay so now i understand that it's a it's a it's a it's a big scheme and right. the government right. has spent right. so many crores yes. into something yes. of this 22000 crores 22000 crores right. as a flash free year. of cost yeah. free of cost now isn't it obvious that an expenditure of this sort when the government does, it definitely benefits people. Right. Why do we need to really do research into this and, and just make things complicated? Okay. So, you're basically asking why should I have a job? Right. <laughs> so, let me explain. This is, this, is, this is existential more than Ashwan Bharat. It's about my existence now. So, look, uh, it's, 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 at, at some level, it's obvious that if you give free insurance and if somebody gets a disease, yeah. uh, then they will benefit and they, they'll be able to work and, 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 and they get free treatment and so on and so forth. Yeah. But I'm not looking at that. I, it's not conditional on having a disease. I'm mm -hmm. saying the fact that you're eligible for a health insurance program, mm -hmm. that itself does it make a difference. So I'm not talking about benefit to your one and a half crore people. Mm. I'm talking about benefit to 50 crore people. The mm. 50 crore, see, if, when I take insurance, I have no idea whether I'm going to have, fall ill or not, right. right? So the 50 crore people or the 10 crore families that are covered, right. the fact that they're covered, right. the fact that they know that they're covered, right. does it change their loan uh, repayment behavior? That's okay. the question I'm after. Okay. So I hope it, it makes, it's not that obvious as your, uh, right. and even on your obvious thing, when yes. uh, hospital facilities are not good, right. it's not very obvious that you give insurance, everything will be good. But I take your point that it could be obvious, but I'm not looking at conditional loan on having a illness. Right. I'm saying fact that there is insurance cover. Right. That itself does it change loan repayment behavior. That's the question I'm after. Right. But it also does solve a larger question, right? When we look into such behavioral changes, it's not only repayment. It's 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 multiple other factors. But given that this paper, yes, we will but, be answering. Yes, but I wanted right. to do a lot of things, right. but uh, Center for Analytical Finance, which you <laughs> manage, gave me data only for loan performance. Correct. So that is why I looked at loan performance. Of yes. course, it can have much more. So we are only going to talk about one aspect of the yes. benefit of Aishman Bharat. So now, now that you have raked up this issue of 
uh, loan performance uh, can you or the data can you tell us how did you you know i uh, i know you uh, you are the one instrumental behind collecting this data right. so how what is the data that we have and then i'll explain what do we find sure so as uh, so we particularly when we are talking about the findings we normally look into the macro picture and so on but mm. the the data that goes behind it while we are doing our analysis they are they are, they are as granular as it can be right so this particular paper what we used is a credit bureau data credit Now, bureau credit so it's bureau. not go to some rbi website say before right. ayushman bharat default rate was 7% after it is 5% so yes. ayushman bharat changed everything yeah. so you did lot of hard work that is what you are doing yeah, yeah we will get to that yeah. <laughs> yeah. but ultimately it is a credit bureau data so we we go now it's not at an individual level right. it is at a pin code level sure so at a pin code level we will have multiple categorization so let's say the the quarter in which the loan was released and then quarter on quarter we look at their performances with different loan products and mm -hmm. different income categories and so on and so mm -hmm. forth so that's the kind of depth that we have with with consideration to the data okay and then so this we, is a pin right. code level number of loans right uh, every observation is a pin number of loans issued in a pin code yes and by all kinds of lenders do you have separate uh, right. all kinds of lenders yes all kinds uh, of uh, and different types of loans yes right yes. it can be agriculture loan business yes. loan yes. you purpose of the loan who is the lender right. when it was lent yes. whether there was default or not yes. so each observation is like a, a pin code yes. bank type right. level and the purpose for which a loan is uh, yes. a taken right? right that's the level of observation yes and, and it must be millions of observations yes absolutely and and, and, and terabytes of data and terabytes of data so which which took us close to 1 1 and 1/2 years but now the the yeah. why we are using this data particularly is we have the flexibility of doing a pre and a post right that is the data is available before ayushman bharat came into existence and after ayushman bharat has been there for at least 2 to 3 years right so, so we we collect data for 3 2 3 years before 2 3 years after yes. this granular level yes. so yes. millions of observations yes tons of data yes. and you i know uh, you you brought it and you had to clean it and and bring it to a level yes. right yes. so let me explain what i find right. right in this data so what i find is the default rate before ayushman bharat right. was around 12% right so this is for this poor category of people and after it falls to 8% now why am i saying for aishman bharat i look at microfinance data because the aishman bharat is for bottom 40% yes. right so microfinance is where you know eligibility is 1 lakh rupees mm. and that is very close to threshold for aishman bharat also yes. so uh, uh, i look at microfinance loans right. and sm uh, small agriculture loans i don't look at some somebody bought a posh car uh, right. you know obviously they are not uh, 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 aishman bharat beneficiaries right. and i find that default rate falls from 12% to 8% after ayushman bharat and you seem your skepticism so is so but it's your training now so right. now <laughs> comes to questions. comes to comes to comparison mm -hmm. and when you say it is dropped from 12% to 8% mm. what are you really saying is it just a pre and post or is it like are into like if, if we have to we have to compare it with some comparable groups right okay and, and I, i know after covid everybody and, now talks yeah, about treatment control yeah, and uh, experiments and all yeah with with like not uh, an ex individual who, with y individual right. it cannot be a direct comparison sure i agree i agree so, so what we did was yeah. so fortunately uh, what happened is as you know uh regional opposition parties regional parties which are not with the bjp right. uh the states which these people were governing yes. they decided not to uh, take ayushman bharat for right. political reasons right. most probably they gave a reason that they have their own health insurance scheme we'll talk about it right. so these are delhi uh, odisha right. west bengal and telangana right. the state there now telangana right. has adopted right. so these states did not take this uh, scheme right. now look at it look at border districts of these states hmm. and the neighboring districts of states hmm. that took uh, this uh, scheme the best case is telangana and andhra okay right or telangana and karnataka okay. think about uh, raichur and mehbubnagar right. the idea is people are similar right right now i look at the difference in their default rate before the program hmm. so there is a difference yes. that's practically nothing because right. they are similar right after the program right the difference opens up right okay. so the people in raichur with karnataka yes. which where uh, this is uh, adopted right. their default rate is 3 4% lower hmm. than default rate of people the border district people who are similar of telangana hmm. so before the program there is no difference hmm. after the program these raichur people are defaulting 4% less right. than telangana people 
right? Okay. So now the difference between, so 0 and 4, difference okay. between these two differences is, is what I'm telling you. Right? I'm saying that's a 4%, from 12 to 8% is what uh, default rate has fallen. Right. Now this I'm saying is because of Aishman Bharat. So right? in, 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 like in... Uh, and this is applies to all four states also, you know, not just, this is one example I give you. Right. This is my main finding. Just for my understanding, mm -hmm. what we really see here mm -hmm. is before Ayushman Bharat came, mm -hmm. came uh, the border districts that mm. we are talking about, mm. which we are classified as treatment and control, they were compared. The, the they were similar. Their default rates were their similar. Default rate, uh, de, their default rates were similar. Mm -hmm. And post that, we see that they have behaved differently. Yeah, states that did not implement the program, right. their default rates went up. Right? That is what I find. That's right. by four percentage points. That means right. from 12 to 8, right. almost a one third decline. Right. You know, from 12% it fall to 8%. Right. So this is my headline result. And I use these four four states, which you know, I'm really thankful to those states that they did not take it. Otherwise, <laughs> I, there is no way I could have uh, answered this question because right. pre-post is not the way to answer. Right. We don't answer pre-post because, as you said, 2018, so many things happened. Right. Not just Aishman Bharat, right? Yes. Yes. Now, uh, uh, but I, I don't see you being happy at all. So now, all in all, when we are even doing this podcast, now, that needs to be a headline apart from just a research headline, right? Right. Now, what is, I my question is, let's say if you look into macro numbers and when we were starting with the macro numbers, what benefit did India have in the macro level? Ah, okay. So, uh, let me tell you one more thing, you know, uh, the, the PhD student would have been more prepared because you are a producer, you missed one question, <laughs> that I did one more test before I go there. Right. Uh, what I did was, I, I thought, you know, you'll be more skeptical than this. So I was more prepared right. that people may say border districts also something happened in the dist uh, in these states. You hmm. may say that Telangana something happened and did not happen in Karnataka. Hmm. So then what I did, initially we said the socio-economic survey. Yes. For agriculture loans, those loans where the loan size is above 50,000, yes. they're not eligible. Hmm. If you have a Kisan credit card you were talking yes. about, agriculture yes. loan, yes. if you have more than 50,000, you're not eligible. Now what I do, I'm looking at three differences. Hmm. What are these three differences? Those with loan 50,000, below 50,000 and above 50,000. Hmm. Telangana, Karnataka, before and after. Hmm. What I find is, all this improvement is hmm. happening in states which implemented the program hmm. in, within this category of agriculture loans which are below 50,000. Now you have to tell me if something else is going on Something else, you know, your usual claim that it's not because you, you got this point. There is a uh, th there is a loan which is below fifty thousand and above fifty thousand. Why I'm looking at fifty thousand? Below fifty thousand are eligible for uh, Aishman Bharat. Above fifty thousand people are not eligible, yeah. right? Hmm. And Telangana, Karnataka, or implemented and non-implemented, right. before and after. Right. What I find is all these benefits are the reduction in default rate is concentrated among below fifty thousand those. Farmers who have, who have a loan of below 50,000 mm. borrowed in the states where it was implemented mm. and the benefits show up after, right? Mm. Now you have to tell me something else going on which is which is applicable to farmers with the loan of below 50,000 happened in implemented states and happened exactly with Aish Mamba. That will break my result. Right. So when an academic makes a claim right. that something happened, especially in a peer reviewed paper, this mm. is the level to which we go. We don't just, you know, type some data and, and create some narrative and say something improved or something right. worsened. Right. You know, that's why it takes years. Yes. You know, that's why you collected data in 2020 and I finished the paper now. Yes. Right? Yes. So, now coming to your macro. I understand you're a producer and you want some headline. Right? right? What's the macro impact of this? Yes. Right? So, macro impact, there are a number of ways. As I said, we are looking at only one aspect of the program. Mm -hmm. we, you know, there are, you only said, we have multiple aspects. So, do you know what's the GDP of India? Let me test you. 293 lakh 293 lakh crore, right? Okay. So these are 40% of the population. Right. What do you think roughly 40% of the population will contribute to what proportion of India's GDP? 40% of the population. We, these days we talk about inequality. I'm, I'm, I'm a yeah. professor. Ultimately, I will. Uh, <laughs> I can't stop uh, asking questions. So right. what do you think bottom 40% of the population will sure. contribute? Roughly, you can say something. Summit to 15, 20 percent. 15, 20 percent. Right. Say 40% population contributes to 20 percent right. of GDP, 60 percent contributes to 80 percent. Right. Okay. Right. 20 percent of, remember this number, yes. 20 percent of India's GDP. Yes. I said the default rate of these people is 12 percent. That right? is from our paper. From our paper. Yes. The, 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 your from hard your work. paper. <laughs> your hard work, data. The yes. data that yes. you collected, yes. right? Yes. So that's how much. Right. Uh, so 12 percent of, 20 uh, percent of GDP right. is 2.4 percent of the GDP. Yes. You can keep it somewhere. Yes. 2.4 percent. So right. what are these 2.4 percent? 
2.4 percent of uh, you know of this uh, 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 of the GDP right. worth projects yes. uh, fail. They they are not able to reach. That's an NPA. Yes. That's an NPA. Right. Now NPA does not. Let's say some restaurant owner does not pay. Yes. Some street vendor does not pay. Yes. Some mechanic uh, uh, you know uh, garage shop person is not paying. Does yes. not mean that they are jobless. Yes. They may find some job. Yes. So let's make an assumption to your to answer your macro question. Let's make an assumption that out of the NPAs, some 50 percent will remain jobless. Yes. Okay. Three layers. Remember, hmm. 20 percent is the GDP produced by these people. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Now, out of 20 percent, 12 percent becomes NPA. NPA. Hmm? Yes. Now, out of 12, uh, uh, 12 percent of 20 percent is 2.4 percent, right? Yes. Now, viewers can pause and do these numbers, yes. and I hope you're going to show this on screen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Now, within this 2.4 percent, I am saying just because NPA doesn't mean that just because I default, I don't become jobless, right? right? Assume that 50 percent of those will be destroyed. These projects, those people cannot do anything else in okay. that year. So, our assumption is 50 percent. 50 percent of that is 1.2 percent. Correct. 1.2 percent, what is the GDP you said? 293. 293. Okay, yes. you are so precise. Yes. I was about round figure 300 lakh right. crore, right? right? So, 293, 1.2 percent of 293 lakh crore, hmm. right? Which is uh, something like uh, uh, what? 3, uh, 3 lakh crore or something? Correct. So yes. Rough, uh, yes. Close to 3.3. 3. 3. 3. 3. Yes. You know, that would have been easy. Yeah. Let's make 300 lakh crore. Yes. Let's add something to our GDP. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, 3.3 lakh crore right. is the GDP that is lost. Correct. That is one assumption. Yes. Right? Uh, we are saying 50 percent. Yes. Let's take another conservative assumption hmm. that 25 percent of the people who default yes. sit jobless. Hmm. They won't do anything. Right. In that case, it will be half of this. One point Somewhere around 1.5 to 3.3 lakh crore of GDP is getting lost. Yes. Is it to rem yes. remember? Yes. Now, let's see what happens with Ayushman Bharat. Hmm. From 12 percent, default rate comes to? 8 percent. 8 percent. Yes. Right? So, same thing. Assume your 40 percent of the population yes. contributes. Uh, 20 percent of the GDP, yes. right? Now, instead of 12 percent default, it is 8 percent default, yes. which is what 1.6 percent. Correct. Where is that 1.6 coming from? From the… I know your uh, producer, you are looking at views and all of that, what yes, will happen? The 20 percent. Uh, you are not bothered about numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are looking at how to increase our views. Correct. Uh, the 20 percent. Yeah. So, yes. 8 percent of 20 percent. Yes. That is 1.6 percent. Yes. Why 8 percent? Because because of Ayushman Bharat, default rate has fallen from 12 to 8. Yes. Right? 1.6 percent. Yes. Now, 1.6 percent uh, uh, will be NPS. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Now let's make the same assumption. Fifty percent of those are Oops. not are going to be unemployed. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have twenty percent. Mm -hmm. Eight percent of twenty percent is one point six percent, and fifty percent of that is point eight percent. Yes. Again, out of uh, your three hundred lakh crore, I am mm -hmm. not going to take your two ninety three. Mm -hmm. So point eight. Mm -hmm. Right. Point eight of three hundred is two two lakh forty thousand. Correct. Right. Yes. So from your three lakh thirty or something, it it comes to two lakh forty. Yes. And if you take a twenty five percent, it will be one lakh twenty. Yes. Yes. Correct. Hmm. So basically, instead of three lakh forty thousand crore or three lakh thirty thousand crore hmm. uh, getting lost, hmm. now we are losing two lakh thirty thousand crore. Yes. Right. Which is what one lakh crore. Yes. Right. This is one uh, an extreme assumption. Another yes. assumption: it's some fifty, sixty thousand crore. Yes. Conservative. Let's, let's say so. Let's say somewhere in between. You know, one lakh crore or sixty thousand crore. Yes. Some seventy, eighty thousand crore. Yes. You said how much did the government spend on Ayushman Bharat? Twenty-two thousand. Twenty-two thousand crore. Right. What is the GDP uh, incremental GDP that got created because of this? Close. People would have sat at home otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere between sixty to sixty thousand crore to one lakh crore. Yes. So the this is called fiscal multiplier. Three to five times. Yes. Do you know what's the fiscal multiplier on a road? No. What's sir. the best estimate? Or most optimistic? No. One and a half. It ranges from one to one point five, maximum one point six, one point five, not more than that. This is only on loan repayment three to six times of the money spent, right? So this is the fiscal multiplier. That means the one rupee that government is spending is creating so much of more GDP. That is why you know like economists say government should spend on health and education, right? Right? This is why you know some people don't like this economy saying hey, spend on health, spend on health. So when you spend on health, the benefits are so much. <laughs> Trust me, I am just talking about only loan. loan. Yeah. There yeah. are benefits coming from elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So this is crazy. Yes. Right. So we'll we'll continue I think this. I've got my highlight. Yeah. We'll, 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 you got your <laughs> highlight, and I'm sure you get some headline. thumbnail, and of you course. put something <laughs> now to attract viewers. Yes. So let's stop this here. Sure. Maybe uh, I know you you still have your skepticism, and that that I can see that. So we will. I'm sure you have concerns. We'll take it up next time. Sure. Thank you.